Welcome back guys to this series on how to make a shoot 'em up If you saw the last video, I covered basic 2D movement in all directions using the classic keyboard arrow keys or WASD. And this time we'll be covering firing bullets in any direction, as many as we want. So let's get started. And if you want to catch the rest of the series going forward, do yourself a favor and subscribe. Okay, so we want our ship to start shooting, right? So we're going to have to create some projectile to shoot. I'm going to call this a bullet. So I'm just going to go create that here. 2D object or empty object, call it bullet. Actually go ahead, bullet type one, because we might have different types. And then give it a 2D sprite. I'm going to make it a circle. And then go ahead and give it a more attractive space shooter bullet color. I'm going to go with something like this. Nice and bright. And then just make it a bit smaller. That looks good. And then a bullet really has a nice and simple job. It just wants to fly across the screen at some speed. So I'm going to go ahead and create that script that does that. Bullet. Open that up. Okay, so we want our bullet to be fairly dynamic. By that, I mean it should be able to travel in any direction at any speed. So let's go ahead and create that. Direction and speed. Uh, set that to something like two. And then we can combine those nicely into something that we just move by every frame and we can call that our velocity. So let's go to where we're moving in our fixed update. Grab our position. Reset our position. And just move ourselves by that velocity. Multiplied by the delta time. And since we want to change our speed or direction whenever we want, we'll just make sure that our bullet is very aware of that by constantly updating what our velocity is. To be that direction multiplied by that speed. And let's go ahead and default our direction to something that is, uh, let's say forward in the X direction. So that's a one and then nothing in the Y direction. And then that should move the bullet to the right. And then we wanna make sure that the bullet doesn't stay in the game forever. Uh, we could set up some screen boundaries, but I think it's easy enough just to say that the bullet could just disappear after some time. And we can do that easily with the destroy function. Destroy this game object after three seconds. All right, I think the bullet's already attached. So let's see what happens. Let's watch the bullet work. There it was, and it died after about three seconds. Although not really moving as fast as I would like. Let's go ahead and bump that up. Something like 20. Let's see what that looks like. Oop, don't pause. There it goes. What was that? Uh, not bad. Let's start it uh, back here a little bit. So we can kind of see the whole thing. Okay, it's pretty good. All right, so instead of having our bullet just live in the scene and be there when the game starts, we're going to go ahead and turn it into a prefab, drag it into the assets folder here. And then we're going to be reinstantiating this bullet into the scene whenever we press some keyboard key, right? So let's go ahead and delete this bullet from the scene. So we want something to fire the bullet. And while that is the ship, I want the ship to be able to fire multiple bullets from multiple places in multiple directions. So I'm going to go ahead and create this gun concept and make the gun responsible for firing the bullet. So inside the ship, we'll create another game object here and we'll just call it gun. And we'll make a script for that and call it gun too. Okay, so we're going to start by giving this gun a bullet. And this is basically what kind of bullet can this gun shoot? And then we're going to give it its own method here for shooting that anybody can call. And this will just cause the gun to shoot a bullet of whatever the type is defined by this guy. So whenever we shoot, we're gonna add bullets to the scene by instantiating them, which is pretty simple. Uh, instantiate 
this bullet, grab the game object, and it's basically going to create a copy and put it in the scene. We're going to instantiate it at the same position that our gun is, so we can put the gun anywhere on the ship and it'll put a bullet at that position whenever we fire. And we're just going to give it standard rotation. And that should actually be all we need to do for that. So then what we're going to do is go to our ship. We're going to go up to the top here and give this thing an array of guns. So this is an array that's going to hold any gun that's attached to our ship. So we're going to need our ship to know about all these guns. So let's go over to start. So when the ship is first created, it's going to look for all the guns that are attached to it. And Unity has a helpful function that can find objects of types that are children of your own game object. I believe that's get component, get components and children of type gun. And that should give us access to all the gun scripts in all the child game objects. And then we're going to give ourselves a new action here for shooting, shoot. And then we're going to pick some keyboard key down here, uh, shoot equals input dot get key. And we're going to do get key down so that we only shoot when the key is pressed down, not when it's being held, only the first frame that the key is actually down. Uh, key code, we're going to pick um, control, I guess. Con control, control, left control, that's fine. And I just realized I keep forgetting to set the, um, the zoom here, so I hope that looks better for everyone. So anyway, once we have whether or not we pressed shoot, we'll just check for that. And then we'll immediately set shoot to false so that we actually have to do the work of pressing the key again to get ourselves to shoot again. Uh, that's just the initial preference. You can set it so that you can just hold down the shoot key to shoot forever, however you want the game to work. But once shoot has been pressed, I'm gonna be looking for all the guns and for every one of them, I'm gonna tell it to shoot. So for each gun in guns, shoot, done. So let's test that out. And I think as long as our ship has guns, oh, let's attach the bullet to it. We'll grab this bullet type prefab over here and we'll drag it into the gun script in the bullet property so that our bullet knows to shoot this type of bullet. All right, let's go ahead and test that. I'm gonna press the left control and there it is. Our ship is shooting bullets and they're disappearing after three seconds. You can watch that happen there, boom. All right, you can see the bullets were kind of originating from the center of the ship and I want them to originate from more of the front of the ship. So that I can easily do by taking this gun now because I have the bullets originating from the position of the gun take this gun and I can just move it somewhere right about here. And there, that's exactly where the bullets generate from. And I can fly around and watch that work. And that's cool and all, but that's just a bullet firing straight, right? I said earlier that we want our bullets to move dynamically in different directions. And we can do that by again, putting our gun to work here. So let's go ahead and take this gun and we're gonna rotate it on the Z, I think it's a Z axis. You can see I'm moving the way it's pointing, right? Cause the Z axis goes into the screen. So that's what it's rotating on, right? Let's say I wanted my bullet to fire roughly 45 degree angle there, not necessarily. Doesn't actually do that, right? because our bullet doesn't know about anything direction wise. So we're gonna have to have our gun tell our bullet whenever it fires, change the bullet's direction to be the same direction that you're pointing. So let's go to our bullet, I mean our gun, and now we're gonna give our gun a direction. And we wanna define this direction based on its rotation. So in Unity and most 3D game engines, rotation is defined by something called a quaternion. And without getting into any detail at all, a quaternion is just this four-dimensional structure that makes it easy to represent rotations in three-dimensional space. And that's subsequently how every game object in Unity's rotation is defined. Now, normally I don't like to rely on too many black boxes or magic to make things work, but quaternions really are their own beast. 
So if you're up for it, definitely do some research. But in the meantime, they are really handy for defining the direction that we are rotated in. So we can take our uh, direction here and set it equal to uh, transform dot local rotation. And you can see there that's our quaternion. And then we'll multiply it by the direction that we want as our standard direction. So that would be right. And vector two dot right is just another way of saying a vector two with one on the x-axis and zero on the y-axis. And we want our direction to represent only the directional value, not necessarily anything else like how far in a specific direction. Similar to what we did by scaling our ship's movement in the previous part. And Unity has a handy way to do that with vectors, and that's called normalizing, which is very similar to what we did with the movement. And all that does is scale it to a value between zero and one. And a simple way to do that is to take this resulting vector and just say normalized, and it'll be the normalized version of it. Okay, now that we know which direction we're pointing, when we instantiate this bullet, we can grab the bullet game object bullet from this game object that we just instantiated. And bullet already has a direction, so we can just set that to be our own direction that we're pointing. And then the bullets update, it'll recalculate its velocity based on the new direction that we gave it, and it'll move in that specific direction. So now that our gun is rotated 45 degrees or something like that, I'm gonna press fire here. Look at that, now our bullet's firing in the exact direction that we're pointing our gun. And if I rotate this gun, down like that. Okay, that doesn't work. Uh, that's because we only defined our direction on start. So we can do that by just moving this guy to update and then our direction will be updated every single frame. And then, so we're firing in this direction and now I rotate it, rotate it. And now we're firing in that direction. And now our gun has the ability to rotate over time, even backwards. Wherever this x-axis vector is pointing, that's the direction the bullet will fire. Okay, so now our ship's firing bullets, right, from its guns. And remember that I mentioned before we have an array of guns, and our ship looks for all the guns that are attached to it when it first starts up. So now we really get to have all kinds of fun here, right? So I'm gonna take this gun, I'm gonna point it in just a natural direction here. I'm just gonna duplicate it a couple of times. All right, that, maybe that's too many. Okay, that, that's fine for the idea that I have here. So now I can take this gun, this other gun, and I can put it, let's say right here, give it a little bit of a rotation in that direction Take another gun, move it to something like this, give it more of a rotation, right? Kind of see what I'm doing here. Give it a rotation down, and then another gun over here. Give it a rotation even more down, right? I'm not sure if that's exactly right. This one's 20, 36, negative 20. I'm just gonna make it the same. Negative 20 and negative 36, right? So they're very close, all right? So now we have all these guns pointing in all these directions. Now let's see what happens when we shoot. Look at that. So you can see what kind of, uh, what kind of damage we can really do and what kind of fun we can really have with just this concept of a bullet and a gun. It's made our ship incredibly flexible in terms of bullet shooting capabilities. So, see what you can do with that. So now we can generate bullets pretty much from anywhere and make them go in any direction. I think that I can even, if I press, if I fire a bullet and I press pause here, just a little experiment. Let me grab this bullet and I'm gonna make its direction on the x-axis negative one and it should just start moving 
uh, to the left. Unpause that, and there it goes. Right, so we can even dynamically change the bullet's direction while it's firing, and we can specify where they're originating from and how many guns the ship has. So that's pretty powerful with just two scripts and a few lines of code. And yeah, the bullets don't really do anything yet, but they will soon. In the next part, I'm gonna be actually generating enemies into the scene, and we'll be doing some cool stuff with making them move in different patterns and stuff like that. So I hope that you like everything that I covered in this video. Play around with that, see what you can come up with. Uh, give the video a like, thank you. And let me know what you think in the comments. Take care, everybody.